we want to determine a piecewise smooth curve for the curve shown below, where if the curve is the curve C, it's equal to curve C sub one plus curve C sub two plus curve C sub three. So to make the curve C piecewise smooth, we'll write parametric equations for these three curves. Looking at the orientation, we'll first go from the point zero comma zero to the point two comma five along this segment. Notice how the X coordinate increases from zero to two and the Y coordinate increases from zero to five. So one way to parametrize curve one, or curve C sub one, would be to let X or X of T be equal to zero plus two times T and let Y of T be equal to zero plus five T where T would be on the closed interval from zero to one. Of course, we can simplify X of T to just two T and Y of T to just five T. But the reason I included the zero here because notice how these were the starting coordinates of this point here, zero comma zero. Now let's focus on curve C sub two, which goes from the point two comma five to the point five comma two along this segment here. So notice how the X coordinate starts at two and increases by three to a value of five, and the Y coordinate starts at a value of five and decreases by three to a value of two. Which means for curve C sub two, we can let X or X of T be equal to two plus, now the X coordinate increases by three, so we might be thinking it should be plus three T, but that would only be true if T was on the interval from zero to one, but now T is going to be on the interval from one to two, which means it's not gonna be three times T, it's going to be three times the quantity T minus one. And then for Y of T, we would have five, and the Y coordinate decreases by three, so we'll have minus three, but then not times T, we'll have times the quantity T minus one. And of course, we can simplify here. If we distribute, we'd have two plus three T minus three, which would be three T minus one. And here we'd have five minus three T plus three, which would be eight minus three T. Notice how if we substitute one in for T, the X value would be two and the Y value would be five, which would give us the point two comma five. And when T is two, X is six minus one or five, and Y is equal to eight minus six, which does equal two. And then finally for C sub three, we wanna go from the point five comma two to the point zero comma zero along this segment. So the X coordinate starts at five and decreases by five to zero, and the Y coordinate starts at two and decreases by two back to a value of zero. So X or X of T, it's going to be equal to five minus five times not T, because now T is going to be on the closed interval from two to three. So it's going to be five times the quantity T minus two. And for Y of T, the Y coordinate starts at two, so of two, and it decreases by two back to zero, so we'll have minus two times the quantity T minus two. Of course, we can go ahead and simplify. Here we have five minus five T plus 10, which would be 15 minus five T. And here we'd have two minus two T plus four, which would give us six minus two T. So here we have the parametric equations to make the curve C piecewise smooth. We could also write this piecewise smooth curve as a vectored valued function where we'd have R of T is equal to, for curve C sub one, the S component would be two T, the Y component would be five T. This would be when T is on the closed interval from zero to one. For curve C sub two, we'd have an X component of three T minus one, a Y component of eight minus three T, this is when T is on the closed interval from one to two. And finally for curve C sub three, the S component would be 15 minus five T. 
and the y component would be 6 minus 2t. And t would be on the closed interval from 2 to 3. I hope you found this helpful.